Wave Light Plus is unique. You customize or you personalize the treatment for the individual eye. If you are wearing the same set of glasses as your neighbor, you will get a different treatment with Wave Light Plus, whereas traditionally you would get what was in the glasses applied to your eye. When the patient arrives, we will do a refraction with one of our optometrists. This then gives us a measurement which we can then put into the site map. The site map needs a comparison when it takes the wavefront measurement, so it compares the wavefront measurement that the machine takes to the subjective refraction that we enter. I always tell them it's a very accurate machine, it talks directly to the laser, and um, it does need a lot of measurements to get the accuracy of their eye. Normally, once they hear that this is going to benefit them for surgery and it's going straight to the laser, they're quite happy to sit there and take the time because they want an accurate result out of their surgery. One has to set up the room carefully and meticulously and has to set up the patient correctly. There is a small amount of learning curve, but the learning curve is worth it because the patient is not transferring from chair to chair to chair and spending too much time resetting themselves and the staff are not spending that much time re-entering the same data again and again across multiple devices. There is no data loss, there is no data capture error, and so the capture is all in one go. On average, when you, when you get fast at it, you're doing about five to eight minutes per eye total from start to finish. We initially began taking the measurements in complete darkness. Um, but I actually found that this sometimes can introduce a little bit of night myopia and they actually were accommodating more. So we've now found that the best way to actually take the measurements is still in the dark but with a little bit of background illumination. So what we can do is we can have the door open slightly which allows some light from the clinic. So when they look into the site map they will see a hot air balloon. Prior to them sitting down on the machine I normally let them know that they will see the hot air balloon but we actually want them to focus beyond it to the very end of the road. So when we are checking for the accuracy of the measurements, we need four measurements from the wavefront, which all require to either have green or yellow ticks. If it's a green tick, it means it's happy with the results. So the efficiency of the site map, now that we have got used to it, um, it definitely doesn't interfere with our workflow. We still have the same amount of staff. We still do it within the same time period. What excites me about the technology is that the technology is brave. That the technology is doing something that is currently available in telescopes and microscopes and, and on the Hubble telescope. It already exists there, but it's been brave enough to be brought into the human world. 